Welcome to East by West Farms. Here we grow what we eat and eat what we grow. Today, I'm going to collect tons of mustard green leaves. In front of me is a dense patch of mustard greens. I actually didn't sow them. They were self-sprouted from the seeds that dropped last spring, I guess. They've been growing pretty well. We have been reasonably warm weather. And we also got, just got our freezer that I ordered in July. Because they self-seeded, some are older, some are younger. For the younger one, we can uh, just uh, save it or uh, just use it for uh, sauté and uh, as a leafy vegetable for now. And then for the older one, we can blanch it and then store it in the freezer. Or I can pickle them and then store them in the freezer. So that way it gave different uh, flavors for cooking. Lots of food that we can store for later use. So what I'm going to do is to harvest this patch and then uh, process it so that we can store them in the freezer and for the hunger months. And then I can uh, sow additional winter vegetable over here. First, I need to get a pass into this patch, so I'm just going to use the scissors and start to cut it through. To harvest it, I'm just going to use the scissor and cut it above the root. I will leave the root in the ground. A lot of people use mustard green as a ground cover or as a soil conditioner. I leave the roots in the ground and then the roots will rot and then provide the uh, aeration for the heavy clay we have. Um, and also, of course, uh, have lots of organic matter in there. leaves that are not very good, I just drop it here. So that's the cut in the jaw. These are not itchy. These are not mustard green, but they're, <laughs> but they're similar. I cleaned out this patch pretty well. There were lots of stuff growing under the mustard green. The mustard green provides some protection. Even a squash will still have flower buds. And the tomatoes plants, since they are probably not going to produce, I'm just going to chop it up and drop it over here. The field is, looks almost like a war zone, just have the leafy greens and scattered all over the place. But that's the idea that they will compost in place and provide um, nutrition for whatever the next plant I will grow. That 
that's what we got out of that one patch. That's a lot of mustard greens, and actually there were some uh, colored greens, and also I have some um, cilantro just for flavor of it. So the next thing I needed to do is sort through them out and separate what is for eating now, what is for uh, blanching, and what is for fermenting. The old leaves goes over here that feed the chicken. The younger ones goes to here that we can just use it for as our daily consumption. And then the older ones, relatively older ones, goes to in the sink. I'm going to wash it and then I started the fire in the wood stove to boil some water. So I will blanch this and uh, um, then I can store them in the freezer. Now the water is boiling. So now all I need to do is to dump this in there. And you don't need to leave it very long. So until it's withered, then I put it out. After I blanch it, then I can cut it into small dices and then put it in the Ziploc bag and then you can freeze it. In this video, I showed you how to harvest the mustard greens and process it for freezing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumb up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. If you have not done so, please hit the subscribe button to follow our journey with the East by West Farms.